clerks all around the state want to make sure their elections are accurate. It's a response to some questions from the public about election security. News 3's Rose Schmidt with more on an effort going on in Rock County. Rose. That's right. Now, this is actually not required by state law. The clerks are choosing to do it on their own. The state's elections commission randomly chooses wards around the state to audit after elections, but now those county clerks are choosing to do it on their own. So this is the town of Milton ballots. Signed, sealed, and delivered to the Rock County Courthouse after they were taken out of the voting machines Tuesday night. These are security seals. When you pull them open, they save void. So we know that these are still secure from election night. But soon, Rock County Clerk Lisa Tollefson and her team will break open those seals and examine the results on the ballots inside. And we decided at this election we're going to randomly choose two polling reporting units and just do a look and see how it matched up with what the votes were recorded. Lisa's office picked races and reporting units out of a hat to audit. They chose one Republican race from a ward in Janesville. There's actually 488 ballots. We'll be counting for that. And one Democratic race from three wards in Milton. It's all part of a new effort to assure the public elections are accurate. We have that confidence, but we want them to also have that confidence too. And just a small extra step to give that confidence to them. The Wisconsin Elections Commission is issuing guidance to clerks for these post-election audits for the first time, standardizing the process. We do all kinds of things to make sure that the voting equipment is secure, that nobody can hack into it or, or access it. This is sort of the final piece on the end that says, okay, yes, what, what the numbers that come out of the machine say are actually correct. With fewer voters coming to the polls, Lisa says the August primary is a great time to work out any kinks. We had 27,000 votes, where our last presidential, we had 76,000. There's a little bit volume difference there. But a smaller volume doesn't necessarily mean it's an easy process, which is why only some clerks across the state may audit their results. We're pretty confident in how our elections are, in the results that we're getting. But it doesn't mean we shouldn't look and do that extra step just to make sure. The Elections Commission says Kiwani and Barron counties are also participating in the audit process, but there could be others as well. Yeah, got to get all those ducks in a row for the next three months in November. Rose, thank you very much. The fire